An oyster sanctuary is basically a safe haven for oysters to grow and to thrive and reproduce and spread their larvae across the Pamlico Sound ecosystem to supplement those natural rock and cult reefs that can eventually be harvested by our oystermen here. We started working with the Coastal Federation and the Division of Marine Fisheries through a NOAA grant back in 2009 and we're starting our seventh season of building Oyster Sanctuary. So over the past seven years of construction, we've built over 110 acres of Oyster Sanctuary and deployed about 150,000 tons of rock and material. It's pretty amazing to, to watch the growth of the Oyster Sanctuary program from 1996 to present. The thing that has worked really well is the management community, the NGOs, the academic community um, have really partnered together with a vision that have helped grow the program, but to do so with sort of science-based solutions. I think of the sanctuaries a bit as kind of like an insurance policy. They're that larval insurance policy to provide seed to uh, other parts of the sound. Marine Fisheries has been monitoring some of these sanctuaries now for, for 25 years, so we, we really have a nice record of how long the benefits of sanctuaries last, and it's pretty incredible that many of them support really high densities of, of fairly large oysters for, for decades. We've been really fortunate to have uh, generous funding and support from the, the General Assembly through the division, but also through partners like the Coastal Federation um, to really expand the program. And so we've built a considerable amount of habitat and we've seen tremendous amount of success with that habitat that we have built. They are big investments, but they're long-term. We build them so that they last a, a really long time and they're sustainable and, and resilient to more storm events and things of that nature. And so we're, we're building these reefs so that they last a really long time and they provide the benefit that we're, that we're really seeking for a really long time. You know, while oyster sanctuaries represent but a small fraction of the footprint of all the oyster reefs in the Sound, they account for 20% of all the oysters in the Sound and 25% of all the larvae that are produced in the Sound. And those larvae, many of which are going and seeding commercially harvested beds, so in some ways the oyster sanctuaries are providing a subsidy for the fishery and, and, and hopefully replenishing some of those reefs. Oysters provide a number of benefits to us. We obviously like to consume them. They support coastal economies in terms of fisheries value and, and things like that, but they also provide a lot of benefits to other critters in the sound. Tons of things inhabit oyster reefs and fishes use them as habitat, use them as feeding grounds. I'd say the most common fish that we see on oyster sanctuaries are sheep's head. We also see a lot of gobies and to oyster toadfish and blennies. But like when we're down there and we're, we're pulling up material to put in our basket to examine for our monitoring program, that disruption and occasionally like oyster breakage just pulls in every sheep's head in the area. So we sometimes we're down there and there's like 10 sheep's head swimming around us picking at the bits that are left behind. I dive, you know, commercially out in the sound a lot. Anywhere that there's a lot of structure and on, on a lot of those planted sites, there's a lot of habitat. It's good spear fishing and recreationally fishing. I know that you know they have a huge benefit to the overall system, and all of that is a, is a beneficiary of those sanctuaries and what they're doing. So the impact of these reefs is really quite amazing. Not only does it build fin fish habitat, but the oysters are a great filter of water. Doing the, the quick math, the 110 acres of underwater oyster reef that we've built filters close to a billion gallons a day in the sounds. I love the water personally. I spend my free time recreating on the water, and if we can make it cleaner and better with more fish and more oysters, that's great.